Hello Model Railroaders, John back with the 16 by 8 River layout. Um, this is going to be an update, just me with a little descriptive uh, discussion about what I'm going to be, my plans are for this. I, you saw the video where I built this tunnel and obviously I've been mocking up some things, that's why the trees are in the pink. Uh, of course that will not stay that way, but the trees are, that's where the trees are going to go and that's going to be how they're going to be placed except this hill here, there's six trees right there and one on the bottom. There will be probably at least 75 to 100 trees covering this hill and the ground or, or surrounding it. So, and then of course there'll be trees on this lower level in this, in this river area with these islands as well. Hopefully the train running isn't causing too much uh, noise, but uh, it's a little louder than you think it is. I, I'm standing here, when it goes by, it's I can really hear it. So, anyways, so my plan is uh, currently uh, for the for the rest of this year, or when I say this year, I'm talking about just this spring. I, what I what I'd like to try to do is I plaster cloth this hill too, because this is going to be primarily just grass, grass and some ro light rock and dirt. So because it's going to be covered with probably well, this basically this whole area I'm expecting to be take up about 350 trees. That does include the bottom here, and the, uh, some sp uh, space like that. And that includes also the um, but the part over by the um, here. Let's go here. This part here by the river on just this side of the river, I, I have to uh, plaster cloth some of this and then sculpt to mold my uh, shoreline. The way I want it shaped because I don't want the it's the river's not going to be quite as wide as what you're seeing here. It's probably going to be take this and go about two to three inches less because I'm going to build up the shoreline at least that much wider so that inlet back there where you see it is going to shrink by about at least a third. So and then of course going around here, these are going to I'm going to build these sloped out uh, along with this. It's going to kind of follow out. And these will be just walk or uh, cement retaining wall type, uh, I guess you call them piers or, you know, where supports where the uh, train is running on. So that's kind of what I'm planning for that. And then the islands, of course, same, similar thing. These are gonna, I'm gonna actually lower, cut this one down just a little bit, but these are gonna taper out. And then like up here, I'll have some rock retaining wall a little bit right there. And some along the edge, this will be, kind of sculpt and mold it out all the way around too. You know, so the actual water area will only be between the, the uh, train tracks, the fir main, first island and this corner piece will probably only be about two to three inches wide at the most. So it's not gonna be a super wide, fast moving river. It's gonna be a very shallow one with little rocks sticking out and things like that. That's what I've been planning. The only area I don't really have a real good idea yet is this corner right here, what I'm gonna do. So, but I'll, worry, I'll figure out something for that. But in the meantime, like I say, I just put the trees in there just to give you guys an idea what things are gonna be. Um, I think that really gives a good idea how I plan to cover this thing. The whole thing will be covered. Uh, I mean, the whole layout's gonna be covered with these type of trees. These are my junker trees, though, they're my first round. My new ones that I'm making now are much cleaner and much more um, the, the branches are more prominent on them. These are more clumpy looking. So, but they're good. They're going to be background trees behind things to fill it in. And then the backdrop itself is going to consist of <clears throat> a couple tones of pine trees going up, up about four inches each, each row. Well, the first one will be about four, four and a half. Then below it, above it will be another inch and a half with a lighter color, possibly then a third color too. So that'll kind of give it a look of this thing being a lot bigger and taller than it is. But I've been practicing painting those. I'm still not very good at it. And it's gonna be one of those things that I think once I do it, it'll be okay, but I'm gonna to have to kind of redo it as I go, or not redo it, just touch it up as I go, you know, as I get better at doing it. So I'm gonna start literally at this corner right here, this up in the blue here, and I'm gonna start with first, painting some kind of a, first a base mountain, of just a gray mount with a little bit of 
highlights. I, I don't want the mountain to be the main focus. I want the trees, the background trees to be the main focus. And then of course I will touch up uh, above this, the turf here. I'll probably go up an inch, inch and a half into that with the same color paint as I use for the turf to just to the backdrop. So I got a lot of le layers I got to do, probably four to five layers of painting to do before I can, before one side would be finished. And I'm only going to do it in probably uh, three to four foot sections at a time. And I'm only going to do up to probably the other side of the river uh, for this, this year. I mean, it's, I have a feeling it's going to really turn out not very good at first. So it might take me a couple times to do it. The nice part is it is just paint and it's on mace night. It's not affecting my sheetrock walls or nothing. So if it's, if it's goofed up, I could just paint over it. It's not a big deal. Even if it's textured a little bit, it's not going to be a big major thing. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have done that before. Uh, I'm just trying it for a first time, but I have been practicing. If you looked at my diorama video, you saw my very first ones. So I've gotten a little better since then, of course, and more detailed about it. So that's kind of where I'm, I've left that. The mountain part, like I say, I'm not going to get as detailed as a lot of guys do online. They're basically going to be just light gray with some hints of highlights, dark, dark and light. That's all it's going to be. So nothing overly fancy. And I'm going to add a few more clouds in here. And I might add, actually add some of the typical clouds that I painted in my diorama. Some actual puffy clouds, not just the airbrush clouds. So we'll see how that goes too. But, uh, and then of course, uh, like I would mention in one of the other videos, I've been making shorts, video shorts. So the one thing about that is the short videos, I make those as I go. So if you kind of want to see little updates before I, I space these out about six, seven days apart, sometimes only four. If you want to see ones in between, just look to see if I put shorts up. Because even like this tunnel showed before you guys actually saw it on, on shorts. Because uh, I'm usually a couple days ahead when I make my videos, um, except when I made the big video about the big tunnel on the other side. I made it the day I worked on the hill. So, but anyways, like um, this one, I will probably, because I'm gonna be doing, this is my starting point of the layout, I'll be doing lots and lots of shorts on this thing. So just kind of check those out if, if you want to, uh, to see, to get a little heads up of what, what's actually going on. Before then, I will, our next after those, then I'd start posting the main video, discussion video like this. Those videos, I won't be talking. I'm just, you'll just see it. The train going by that's my whole reason to even do those so get i do them for 15 to about 30 seconds i don't think they really do a lot but they get a lot of people um subscribing to me that's kind of why i like doing them so and i get a lot of good comments and a fair amount of ugly ones and i get a lot of negatives so but that's just the way it goes i guess there's nothing you can do about it not everyone likes everything but i also think a lot of it is people don't understand what they're seeing here they see pink and think, well, why is a train running around in pink? They don't understand what we're doing, a lot of us, the modelers. So uh, you guys know, the people who watch this stuff, you guys all know, of course, but the people who see the shorts, they're just random people. They don't know what's going on with this stuff. I'd love to be able to talk to them and tell them and describe it to them, but uh, I think a lot of them really don't care. So, but they're fun to make. They're really quick and easy. So anyways, that's my update for uh, for now. Um, the next updates I'm gonna do, will start being a little more spread apart because I'm gonna be working on either starting landscaping or the background. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do first, but in between all that, I'm doing trees. And you guys saw some videos on the trees. It's slow going, but it's something. And you know, it's, it's something that's gonna keep me busy for a while and, oops, sorry but I am going to um, keep plugging away at it till I get plenty done. I've got, like I say, I got all these done. There's uh, 450 right there. So I got quite a few there, but I do have to um, continue on because like I say, I think I'm gonna, I'm estimating I need about 1500 to do this whole layout because it's gonna be thick, thick, dense. Well, you can kind of see right there. 
it's going to be thick. So anyways, that's all I got this week. Uh, check back and like I say, watch for shorts and you might get to see some quickie updates. And I might even do some quick little 60 second uh, time lapse of some of the stuff I do too. Maybe, not for sure, but possibly. So anyways, thanks for watching and let me know what you think.